Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Headbangers Closet. It's your pal Brett here. So, want to do another video from the Lost Classics of the 1990s series. I've been watching a lot of those videos. Watched Aaron's latest video yesterday. I was talking to him in the comments and you know, I did my first video a couple days ago. In Flames was the band. Horacle was the record. Um, I was a little self-conscious about doing that video because a uh, couple of reasons. Number one, I was unsure of you know how Lost Classic in Flames Horacle was. To me, it's a classic, and it's a lost classic of the 90s because, you know, when you talk about In Flames, a lot of people, like I mentioned on the video, they don't really talk about that album, but I think it's amazing. It's their best record, in my opinion. Um, Clayman and Reroute to Remain are right there, neck and neck with it, but I'm going to choose that one over those every, every day of the week. Um, I love the record, but I was kind of self-conscious because I watched a bunch of those videos before I did my first one, and everybody was showing these really cool, like, you know, definitely lost classic, like, you know, hard to find stuff, you know, smaller, lesser known bands that, uh, you know, I, so a lot of them I'd never heard of before. So I was like, you know, is what I'm showing worthy or not for this thread? But I was like, yeah, why not? We'll go with it. I mean, everybody in the VC is really, really cool. Everybody in the heavy metal community is really cool. And, um, you know, I'm always wanting to hear people's opinions about what they think about the, you know, the, the albums I like and the bands I like. So um, I decided to show it. And this edition will, will not be any different. To me, this one's a little bit more, you know, lesser known, more lost classics, if you will. But it's also kind of controversial. And uh, I'll get to that in a second. I just noticed something in the background right there is my dog, Daisy, laying down. Um, I did not notice her come in before I started this video. I think this is my first guest on the show, uh, on the channel rather. Uh, she might have been in other videos. Maybe some of you guys have noticed. Uh, this is where I work every day. So um, she kind of comes in most days and sits there and lays there. And I kind of forget that she's even there. Sometimes I might leave and shut the door and she's stuck in here for 30 minutes. But anyway, there she is laying down. So, hey, sorry. I'm oh, moving along. Um, the band is called Morbid Saint. The album was called Spectrum of Death, and uh, these guys are an 80s thrash metal band. They formed uh, in Wisconsin in the early 80s, but what's kind of weird about these guys is they didn't put out anything in the 80s. I mean, they got a, a demo. The opening track on this this album is called Lock Up Your Children, best song on the record, in my opinion. Um, and it came out as a demo with this album, like, and, and also this album in 1989. But here's the thing. None of this was released in physical format to the 90s and the 2000s. So to me, this is a lost classic of the 90s. I'm gonna categorize it as that because it was released I think in 91, 92, like in Mexico and Greece and then like a little bit later in the 90s in like in other countries. I don't think it came to the US till the late 90s or 2000s if I'm not mistaken. But um, 80s thrash band, I mean, check out the photo right there. You can tell those guys are straight out of the 80s. Um, and what's different about these guys is it's, it's all thrash. I mean, there's not a pause in the thrash on this record. They've got another album that Discogs, Wikipedia, Worship Metal, they're all saying that album, uh, which is called um, Destruction Symptom, came out in 2015. Now, you can check them out on Spotify. It's a little different now. A couple years ago, and I, and I discovered this band probably like in the mid-2000s. Um, completely by accident and then that's going to go, go down a rabbit hole that I don't want to waste everybody's time on. We're already over three and a half minutes. Um, but I discovered this in, the, in, the, in like the mid-2000s, this band, um, for my love of 80s thrash metal. Um, but uh, I forgot where I was going. Anyway, yeah, so Spotify originally had this album with the demos uh, and, and the other album all in one. And now they've since split them up to the actual both records, um, Spectrum of Death and Destruction Symptom as the two records. But 2015 was the next album was released. And they're back. These guys are on the next Hell's Heroes in Houston, Texas, which is next March. So I'd really like to get to that. I mean, Sodom's going to be there. Uh, Queensryche's going to be there doing, I think, the first two albums only. Um, but uh, yeah, Morbid Saints playing that one as well. So anyway, 80s thrash metal. Uh, these guys are way different. Like I said, not a pause on it. Different than the Bay Area Thrash movement. These guys sound a lot like Nuclear Assault meets Creator. Um, really heavy on the European influence, which is kind of strange because these guys started so early. A lot of those European thrash bands were kind of starting around that time as well. But you kind of figure these guys' influences would be more along the lines of like your, your Metallica and Slayer, like Anthrax, you know, stuff like that. But they sound a lot like the European uh, thrash bands of the 80s. So uh, definitely check it out. 
really really cool stuff lock up your children's the title track of the uh, of the opening track of the album is great bird at the stake damien's awesome the title track of the album is called spectrum of death that's on side two that's a great record i mean great song crying for death is great as well i mean the whole album is awesome if you just dig straight up in your face thrash metal you're gonna love this and it's got that 80s vibe and sound that i love so much it's just uh, completely like you know like they played they recorded the album in their garage just that that raw aggression kind of sound that you can hear from those early 80s thrash metal albums you know before everybody got real big uh, so definitely check it out um this particular version like i said to me it's a 90s classic because that's when it came out in physical format this is a 2015-16 reissue on century media high roller records there it is right there if you're unfamiliar with high roller records Check them out. Uh, I believe they're in the Netherlands, but they've got a huge catalog of 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s metal bands. Stuff that's harder to find. Stuff that you're going to pay an arm and a leg for original pressings. You know, stuff that's you know hard to find pressings. You know, things that weren't pressed four million times, like a Metallica or, or, or Iron Maiden or Megadeth record. Just harder to find stuff where you can pay a hundred bucks. You know, 80 to 100 bucks for original, or you can pay 30 to 40 bucks for one of like the 10 different colored var colored variants you're going to get from High Roller. So let's check this one out, show you guys this. Um, I love High Roller records. I've got maybe 15 of their records uh, in my collection. And like I said, perfect if you don't want to spend a boatload of money and a boatload of time looking for a decent copy of something that came out and was released in Germany only in 1984. Um, High Roller Records is the way to go. So, uh, like they put out in pretty much all of their releases, this is the catalog, uh, kind of their High Roller Records logo right there, pretty cool. And this would have been 2015, 2016, when this one came out, so the catalog is even bigger now. You can go on their website, or you can pretty much find everything that they put out. Somebody's got it on Discogs. A lot of it's available in the U.S. For, from collectors and record stores. You can spend a little bit less money on shipping. If you've got to get it from the website, it's going to cost you a little bit extra in shipping. You can pay like 40 45 bucks, But you can get it, a lot of their stuff in the U.S. for like $35. Uh, but, so I highly recommend picking them up. They're awesome. They sound amazing. They look great as well. And High Roller Records does an awesome job with inserts. Like this one right there, and then the lyrics, and they also give posters. Um, I'll have to show more stuff in my collection from High Roller Records. I really dig that record company. They do such a great job. So here's the poster. Awesome put on the wall. Just the album cover. And then here's the record right here. This is one of like six different versions they had for this. It's the blue and the white splatter with red splatter, and I, I liked the bone. A, a lot of the versions have the bone white, and then like, you know, just some really nice, just solid colored variants, but when you're looking for them, a lot of them are in Europe, and the ones in the US that are like maybe 10 bucks cheaper, you might not be able to find the exact version you're looking for, so I was able to pick this one up. Um, but a really cool, awesome band. It's like I said, 80s thrash band, but definite lost, classic from the 1990s uh give them a listen um yeah you won't be disappointed if you dig thrash metal so hopefully you guys dug the video hopefully you dig the band i really like hearing y'all's opinion on the, on the bands i talk about so please leave me a comment below love talking to you guys about this stuff um and i uh, appreciate everybody checking out the channel i will have another video for you guys very soon cheers everybody